welcome to KIDS and Family HIT. HIT stands for High Intensity Interval Training. So we're going to do things in short bursts and we're going to get going. But first we will warm up. Make sure you have shoes on, you have space to move around, maybe a partner to interact with during class or maybe you're just doing it with us. Either way, you're going to get a great workout. Let's warm up. Alright, are we ready? Regular warm up, we grab our pretend jump rope. Then we jump around. Now, mom or dad, if you're doing this with kids, you don't have to jump, but I want you to get around and move with your kids. That's what's fun. If you need to walk things, maybe you're not hopping up and off the floor like we are. It's okay. Do what you can do. Kids, we're going all out. <laughs> so I know you can hop and jump. You have lots of energy to spend. All right, jumping jacks. At man. That's what this is about. It's getting out our energy in a good way. Sometimes you can face your partner or do things with your partner. You don't have to have one today, though. You just do a regular jumping jack. Don't move too fast, too quickly. We're just warming up. <laughs> Maggie's trying to go too fast here for me. I will challenge you with speed later, promise. All right, lunging back, big step back. So we don't have any breaks during the warm up. We just go from one thing to the next. Pull those elbows back. I want you to warm up your upper body too. We use our whole body in this class. So lunge, back knee bends towards the floor behind you, right? So if you can see me from the side, whoops, if I have balance, there we go. Maybe it even touches the floor. Bonus. All right, squats now. Feet wide. Get down low. Get up high. I want you to keep your head up. I don't want your knees to buckle in, Maggie. I want your knees to go out wide. You don't have to touch the floor. I don't want you to, really. I just want you to look like you're sitting in a chair and like you're reaching up out of that chair real high to the ceiling. All right, knees up in front, nice and high. Elbows wide. Fingertips point at your head. They don't have to touch your head, though. We're twisting. I want you to twist. It's warming up your spine, getting you ready to move in all different kind of ways. You can change things along the way. Sometimes Maggie does things a little differently than me, and it's okay. As long as you're moving. Plays wide, kick your heels back to your bottom. <clears throat> we have a lot of squats and lunges for you to come today in our workout, as well as some other fun things we'll show you along the way right now we're doing an inchworm so crawl your hands up on the floor and then crawl them back in we'll do this again later in our workout also our inchworm and if you want to like <laughs> tap your uh your partner or your whoever's there with you tap hands once you get up to that <laughs> to that plank position makes it fun <laughs> He always gets me though. All right, come back up. <laughs> Enough of those. Wide, wide legs. Squat down low. Get a knee up high. Squat Never. down low. Do what you can. Ever. But don't say you can't. I want you to just try. Maybe you just do a part of this. We want to wake up these, these thigh muscles that we're going to use a whole lot when we do our squats and lunges. Really, most exercises are done standing, so we work our legs a lot. We want them ready. Okay, so we're warm, and we're gonna get even warmer as we go. We are gonna do sets that are intervals of 30 seconds and 15 seconds. 30, 15, 30, 15, okay? The 30 second will be one of two exercises. The 15 second
movement is always going to be just jogging, okay? So instead of taking a break, we're going to jog. I'll encourage you to maybe get high knees while we're jogging, okay? Those are in between. If you truly need a break, I'll remind you that that is kind of your active break time, that if you want to just walk, it can be that. But here are the main exercises. All right, so you're going to take your right leg back and then up to a knee. Right leg back and then knee. Now you can add a hop to that if you want. So this is practice time. Practice with us. This is a new one. Foot back. It can be back to like a lunge if you want and then up high with a knee or maybe you're just tapping the foot back. So this could be as kind of a small movement or it can be a huge movement. Your choice, okay? We'll stick with just this one side. Next time around, we'll do the other leg, okay? So I'll, I'll let you know. That's the first exercise and then we'll jump. And then the next exercise is, let's see, we squat low, we jump out to a jack to the side. We squat low, we jump out to a jack. Low, jack, low, jack. If you don't wanna move side to side or don't have room, you don't have to, okay? Those are our two exercises that we'll alternate between. Sideways. Doesn't matter which way you face in your living room or your space. Make sure you have some room and you're ready. Ready? Okay. So the heart rate up a little bit. I'll get our timer going. So we're ready for 30 seconds and 15 seconds. We'll go through it four times and then we'll take a break. So are we ready? Take your right leg. It's going to go back and then forward with a high knee. Ready? Go. Here's your 30 seconds. We're going. We're in it now. I like to use my arms like I'm running. It kind of helps me leap up higher. So remember the jump is up, for, up, not forward. Jump to the ceiling. And that, your left leg is gonna get super tired because that's the one that you're jumping on the whole time. And, okay, so active recovery. So you're jogging, or you're walking, or maybe you're so out of breath right now that you are just catching your breath, so you can be ready for the next one, okay? So we call it active recovery. So I hope you can still move during this. Next one, low, high, go for it. I'm going side to side with it, because it's fun. Low, out to a jack. Low, out to a jack, if you wanna Jump out to the side. <sighs> or you can stay in place. <laughs> Keep going. We don't stop during our intervals. You can stop when I tell you it's active recovery time, okay? Not yet. Okay, now active recovery. You're jogging, you're walking, or you're just breathing. Or swinging circles. All right, so we'll go back and we do this again. This time it's gonna be your left leg, back and knee, back and knee, left leg, here we go. Back, knee. You see you're hopping on your right leg. And if this is too confusing, just hop on your right foot. You'll essentially be doing the same thing. This is just making it a bigger movement, more explosive, takes a lot more energy. Which is the idea. When we're working out, we wanna use that energy. Jump towards the ceiling each time. Keep going. Now it's active recovery, okay? Jog, walk, stand. If you have energy today, this is a short workout. Use it. Okay, so here we go again. Low, out to a jack. Low, out to a jack, go. Again, you can go side to side or not. But I want you to sit down low, keep the head up, and then explode out into your jack. I thought you liked flying side to side, Mandy. She told me that was fun. Okay, keep going. Now you're on active recovery. 15 seconds, come on. Try to keep moving. Be a good example, Mandy. Keep moving. Yeah. All right, now you have a longer break. And I'm going to talk to you while you get a sip of water. Okay, I do not want you sitting or laying right now. I want you walking around. Maybe just walking. 
lock in your place a little bit because your heart rate's up a lot. And we're, we're gonna go back right to it. Same kind of interval, 30 seconds of an exercise and 15 seconds active recovery, jogging, walking. So this time the exercise is slightly different. The first one is gonna be a side lunge where I just bend this one knee out to the side. I come together and like I'm doing a jump shot with a basketball. Other leg out to lunge, together, jump. Lunge, together, jump. Okay, that's your first one. And then we jog. And then the next one is going to be one that we do often, our big hop, turn. Big hop, turn. I only have four footprints on my carpet. I land on them every time. Why? I land on them again. I land on them again. Yes? There's two here, there's two there. Okay, so imagine that. It'll help you out. Easier to feel this wine. <laughs> okay. So 10 seconds. And then we're doing it. So make sure you're staggered and in front of me because I want to take a big step out and I want to be able to jump without running into anybody. So have your own side to side area for this first one. Same thing, we'll do 30 seconds and then recovery. Ready? Go. Side lunge, jump shot. Side lunge, jump shot. Keep going. You go as fast or as slow as you feel like you need to or can. You go faster and you have the energy. Do it. But you don't stop. You pick a pace, you can continue. All right, recovery time. Jogging if you can. So that next one, remember, Wide hop, forward, turn. Wide hop, forward, turn. Ready? Feet wide, go. Need to face the same direction as whoever you're with. Remember those four footprints. And they are far and wide. Hop over to them. Use your arms. Swing them with you. your whole body to work together, to cooperate. Keep wide, Maddie, keep them wide. All right, active recovery, jogging, walking, breathing. Your choice. Jogging, walking, and breathing. Correct. I hope you're always breathing, but if you're not jogging or walking, then you're only breathing. Back to the first one. Side lunge, jump shot, go. Forward. This is the hard part of the workout because I'm not getting the rest. So try to keep that speed up, try to keep going. Not time to give up on yourself, it's time to be a cheerleader for yourself or for whoever you're with. Tell them to keep going. All right, jog, walk, breathe. Active recovery. Okay, we only have one more. 30, one more 15. It's our wide squat hop. Hop turn. Hop turn. Wide. Hop. Turn. I didn't mean squat. I meant hop. As you get tired, focus on your goal. Focus on your feet. Hopping far. Staying wide. You're almost there. recovery last time. We will get a longer break after this, but keep moving right now. All right, now you're on break. We finished that big old monster set of our 30-15s, okay? Great job. We're not done. Of course not, but we are on break. Longer break. So get a sip of water. Don't go too far. I want you back within a minute. Okay, so this is a lot more intense, a lot harder if you don't take longer breaks. And we really can get a great workout in a 30 minute block of time. And you're like set for the day <laughs> on exercise. All right, 
So this next group of exercises can be done with a partner or by yourself, okay? So I have a partner, so I'm gonna do it with her, but you don't have to. When we're doing chorus line, you absolutely can do this by yourself. If you wanna hold hands with someone or put your hands on their shoulder, then it, you can do it that way. That's one of them. Now, another one is just a step touch. You can do it by yourself or kind of time it with your partner. And you can inchworm like our warm up. If you wanna add in something fun like tapping your partner's hand while you're down, like we always do in our warm up, you can do that. And a frog jump. When you frog jump, keep your head up like a frog does. I'm not tucking in. I'm not a turtle, I'm a frog. <laughs> All right, so that one again, you can time with your partner to make it fun, but you don't have to have a partner. So with or without a friend, we're ready. Okay, so these are intervals that are a little longer, but I'll also give you a little longer break in between. You actually have breaks, yay. Okay, so I know you're tired already. We don't have to move as fast, but we're gonna go for 40 seconds. Chorus line. If you have a partner, hold your hand. Take your, take your right leg. We go knee and kick. Go with us. Knee and kick. Knee. You're just hopping on your left foot the whole time. If you can time it with your partner, <laughs> then knee and kick. Maybe say it together. Kick. That's 40 seconds. It's longer. It's gonna get tiring. Hopping on this one leg. <laughs> but encourage each other to keep going. And I'm gonna encourage you to keep going with us. <laughs> Great, you get to actually stop for 20 seconds. All right, we'll come back to that next time around. But for now, step touch. If you stand right next to the person you're with, and then you're gonna step away, and you're gonna step together without touch, without stepping on each other's feet. <laughs> There's your tricks. Are you ready? Set. Go. It's just a step touch. This one's not real intense, so you're gonna be able to recover. Don't step on my toes. No, no, we step together at the same time. You don't have to have a partner. You can just keep step touching on your own. How can you step on top of my phone? You're going too far. I have bigger legs. Slightly. If you don't quite get the timing, it doesn't matter. Keep moving. Five more seconds. I'm going to have broken toes. All right, you're on break. 20 second break. Catch your breath. Like, listen. Remember, inchworm. I want you to get out to that plank position. Nice, flat, straight body. And you walk your hands back in and roll up. Okay, that's all it is. Let's kind of angle it this way. How are you? Okay, let's go. 40 seconds of this. Oh, I got it the first time. Get all the way up to plank so that you can't cheat and go halfway. That's where it becomes difficult and a really good strengthening exercise if you get all the way up to that plank. You don't have to go fast. Still going 10 seconds. No. Never. This is not good. Alright, come on back up. You're on break. Do not stay on the floor. Come up. Frog jump. Wide legs. You go down between them. You don't have to touch the floor. It can be like this. Or it can be way down here and way up here, okay? It's fine if you want to time it opposite. Ready? Go. It just looks fun. <laughs> and you keep each other going. So do it with us if you don't have anyone else. We'll keep you going. Maggie? Wide legs. My legs, like I said, it can be smaller. It can be this, but don't stop. Your feet don't have to leave the floor. You can just go up on your toes. Okay. Wide legs, Maggie. Yes. And break. Oh, that's hard. Okay. 
slightly longer break for about 30 seconds. Catch your breath, because we're going to go through those one more time. So it's just four exercises. They're fun ones. After that, we'll wrap it up, okay? We'll do a little bit of cool down and stretch. So we're going to make it through these four more exercises. And you already know, nothing new. Same interval, 40-20. Okay, we ready? First one is that chorus line. But we did the right leg last time, we have to do the left leg this time. So your left leg is gonna go knee, kick, knee, kick. Are you ready? Left leg this time. Face down. Knee, kick, knee, kick. We're going. Your left leg now, the other one. Yeah, we're, we're mirroring you, so it's confusing for us. <laughs> keep going, keep going. <laughs> it's hard hopping on that one, but you don't have to hop. If that just gets too much, don't stop. Just keep that knee and kick going. So if you're hopping, oh boy, it's a great workout for that leg, for that ankle. Oh yeah. I break. Ouch! I think that's the hardest one for me. Okay, so remember the next one is the step touch. You're on break for five more seconds, but ready to go for the next one. Big step out, big step back. Okay, go. That was a good one. We finally did it right. Just try to take the biggest giant step to the side as you can. I hope you have shoes on at home if you're doing with this with someone else. You hope you have somebody like Maggie that's stepping on your feet. <laughs> Needs protection. Maybe steel toe boots. It'd be helpful right now. Jeez. Oh, trying to make me fall, aren't you? No. Alright, yeah, I'm break. That one might be done better without a partner. <laughs> okay, so inchworm is next, but we're catching our breath. Are we ready for an inchworm in five seconds? All right, here we go. Switch places with me. Inchworm, go. That way we can use our other hand. <laughs> though. 
Don't go long. How long, John? I'm going to go lay in bed and recover. I want you to recover with us right now for a few minutes. And then probably after that, continue to either stretch or keep moving. All right. I want you to... High knees. Tap your opposite knee. And I want you to try to turn your shoulders. Similar to this that we do in warm-up. But you can keep your arms down. Just tap your knee. But I want you to try to make your shoulders turn as much as they can. So we're getting a good on stretch in the upper body. We're just moving slowly. Coming down. Wait, Maggie, we will, so we will stretch, but not yet. We need to continue moving before we stop. Wide legs, I want you to kick back now. Kick back. With another cool down exercise, Maggie, we have time for one more to keep moving. Can you think of any? All right, I'm going to show you. This is a jumping jack without the jump. Tap out. Tap out. All right. It's a tap jack. Tap jack. This can always be done in place of a jumping jack or a star jack or whatever kind of crazy thing we're doing during the workout, and it's just too much for you at the time. Instead of stopping, you do something like this that's just lower level, and you're still moving. All right, stretching. Wide legs. I want you to hang forward. Hold your elbows and just hang there. Now I want you to nod your head and shake your head just gently. Forward back a couple times, side to side a couple times. And then roll up. Oh, good. Now I'll fix me. Oh, good. Feels good. Help stretch out your spine all the way up to your neck, which is part of your spine. We don't think of our, our neck being part of our backbone, but it absolutely is. Yeah, all the way it connects your skull. <laughs> It'd be floating the pumpkin head, floating pumpkin head without our neck. Yeah, that's what Maggie says. <laughs> so shoulder rolls up and back and down. And here's what I want you to finish with: a big reach, a big inhale, and exhale. Okay, one more. One more. Inhale. Exhale and we're done. Good job. You did the whole 30 minutes. Good job.